his flesh to lead him away from God. And he began to cater to these strange women. And he went back into Babylon at that time. So you got to come out. Amen. False doctrine. Got to come out. Amen. But that ain't what I was taught. Well, you, well, you better come out. Amen. Only the truth of God can make you free. That's what Jesus said. See, that's why the truth is so important. Because it's the truth that delivers you. Come on, it's the truth that brings you out of the darkness. It brings you out of paganism. It brings you out of Babylon. That wicked and diabolical spirit. Come on. He said, come out of her, my people. Hmm? We got to renounce her. We got to renounce that spirit of Nimrod, which ain't nothing but Satanism. But it don't appear to be Satanism, you know, because we're talking about Jesus. And Jesus never told us to do a whole bunch of stuff that we're doing. Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. He told you to take communion, right? But there's a lot of people that in churches everywhere they can't even take communion because look how they live. You can't even give them communion because many of them are living foul. They live in dirt. Doing. 
You don't believe that? Mark chapter 7 says this. Mark chapter 7 says this. Listen to what it says. Mark chapter 7. Let me start reading here at verse 7. Mark chapter 7 verse 7 says, How be it in vain do they worship me? Teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Did that say the commandments of God or the commandments of men? Come on. And these commandments of men had to come from somewhere. They didn't come from the Holy Ghost. They came from another place. Come on. Amen. Then he said, for laying aside the commandment of God, you see that? What do we do? We lay aside the commandment of God. Why? That you hold the tradition of men. As the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things you do. Verse 9. And he said unto them, Full well you reject the commandment of God that you may keep your own tradition. And your own traditions contradict the commandments of God. Amen. Your own tradition got you breaking the law of God. You cannot worship God believing and practicing Lies. That's not worshiping God. You can come to church and sing your song and go back home, praise God, amen, and start write, uh, writing your little Valentine cards out. You're in paganism. That's Babylon. You're supposed to make your journey out. And as you're making your journey out, Is that the spirit of God? Is these pagan holidays, come on, these damnable doctrines that have flooded the churches, is that the spirit of God teaching you that? Is that the spirit of God leading you to do that? The Bible said we worship God in spirit and in truth. Are those things the truth? And if they're the truth, can I find it in the scripture? John 17, 17, sanctify them through thy truth. What's truth? His word is truth. So if it's truth, I should be able to
And that's, that's why the apostle John shows us how there was an angel come from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. Because if you don't come out, God, is God going to reward Babylon? He's going to pour his wrath upon Babylon and he's going to pour it out upon everybody that's in Babylon. Just like he poured his wrath out upon Sodom, he poured his wrath upon every person that was in Sodom. That's why you got to come out. You don't take God's word and flip it to the side and go, well, I want my son, I want my daughter, amen, to have a Christmas. You don't want them to have Christ. You don't want them to get the Holy Ghost, but you want them to have Christmas. And Christmas is a combination of two words, Christ and Mass. That word Mass in the Latin is Missa. Huh? Which means the anointed one depart from us, get away from us. That's what Christmas means. Christ Mass, Christ Missa. The anointed one depart from us. Get away from us. We don't want you. You don't find the word Christmas in the Bible. That's a term that came out of Roman Catholic Church. Hello. You got to come out. All them lies. Amen. All them lies has been told forever. So you got the cycle got to break with somebody. Right. Come on. Amen. Somebody got to break the cycle. You Don't you let your family break you under peer pressure. Amen. What you mean y'all don't celebrate Christmas? What you mean y'all don't celebrate Easter? Y'all don't believe in Jesus' resurrection? Of course we do. Praise God. Amen. Of course I believe in the resurrection of Christ. But Easter has nothing to do with the resurrection of Christ. And if Easter has anything to do with Jesus, what the, what's, what the bunnies doing here? What the eggs doing here? What the, all they got to do with it? They have nothing to do with it. All of it come out of Babylon. This, thing, this stuff was celebrated in pagan Babylon. And it was brought into the church, repackaged, and put the title, the title Christian on it. And everybody think it's Christian. Because they change certain names and make you think it's of Christ. That's a lie of the devil. Yeah. He's been deceiving you. That's what baffle, baffle means. Baffle means confusion. 1 Corinthians 14, 33, the Bible said God is not the author of confusion. God ain't confusing you. The devil come to confuse you. He come to trip you up. He come to introduce to you. Amen. I put a four of religions and all Just choose the one you like. There gotta be many, many other ways to get to heaven except for Jesus. He just can't be the only way to heaven. There gotta be other roads that lead to the kingdom. That's what the devil make you believe. And he, if he can get you to choose any religion, he don't care which one you choose. Just don't pick Jesus. Now Jesus is not a religion. Jesus told you who and what he was. He said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Amen. And no man can come to the Father except you'll come by me. So we got Babylonians everywhere. Huh? You got these Babylonians today that really sit in churches and don't believe none of this. They will tell you, well, I don't believe your religion. You know there are people that say that? Hello? Yeah. That's your religion. Hello, somebody. Yeah. See, people think you don't know stuff. But I know stuff. Come on. I know what these people believe. I know what people be saying in their mind. There's a bunch of folk attend churches all over the nations of the world that don't believe this. Well, that's your religion. That's a Babylonian you dealing with. That's an anti-Christ, a Satanist you dealing with. Amen. Come on! Hallelujah. 
birthday of America. But I don't celebrate the birthday of America because I don't celebrate my own birthday. Come on. When God blesses me with another birthday, to God be the glory. Oh, 